Hey, wake up, we have to start shooting. <laughs> it was an intro. Now, we are really in trouble. <laughs> I'm hungry. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I hope you're doing well and feeling good. In this video, see us try to survive for 50 hours on a desert island. We're really not prepared. Go ahead, give context. Context is that I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Same. It took us forever to get back here, man. What time is it? It's 4 p.m. on Sunday, so that means we are not leaving here until sunset on Tuesday. We got two hours of sunlight left. I think we need to find a place to unpack all of our stuff before the sun goes down. We're gonna need some shelter, potentially fire, and food to be great as well. Before we embark on this crazy adventure, let me introduce you to the sponsor of this video. Thanks MSI for making this possible. Who sent their latest baby. Prestige 16 Studio, which will be the game master of this video. I'll present this in two minutes time, okay? First point, it is really good looking and for a laptop of this size in terms of mobility, it's unmatched. Second point, it's really user friendly with comprehensive connectivity. Have a look. Check this out. Third point, with the performance, you have the latest generation Intel Core i7-13700 processor with six performance cores and eight efficient cores. If you're as good in tech as I am in survival, you'll know the more cores a processor has, the more powerful at multitasking it is. In terms of graphics, we're on the RTX 4060, certified by Nvidia Studio. High performance, low consumption, and value for money. Now, this features a mini LED QHD, which is 2560 by 1600. It is based on the golden ratio proportions. We know that one hidden over there. It's the size of a Prestige 16 Studio. Come on. Hey, it took me 20 minutes to do this. I really hope you like it. Whether you're a gamer or like being productive, if you're interested, the link's in the description. The countdown starts now for these 50 hours of survival on a desert island. Whew. I think I'll be less energetic in a few days. A little preview of our condition in 24 hours. It was the worst night of my life. We are not doing well, man. It really won't be that great. How do we charge this thing? It has a big battery. So the Prestige 16 Studio is the game master of this video. We'll follow all the steps it proposes. Explorer. Okay, I suggest we go over there then. Let's go. Now we are doing what the first light is telling us to do. Well, to begin with, we're lost in the depths of an Indonesian island right now. To get there, we had to take a plane, two boats, and then five taxis. I think over there, it is the mainland, but they won't be able to rescue us for 50 hours. So we're on our own. I saw a shark earlier, my brothers. <laughs> my mother's life. Damn, even on an uninhabited island, it disgusts me to see how much humans mess everything up. All of my survival skills I got from my videos. The survival video from an ox tag and a little bit of Bear grills when I was younger. And the only thing I can do is to drink my own pee. Now we've divided the tasks for this video, so my role will be to keep us alive. <laughs> Dillo's role will be creating a five-star hotel for us. Now we are moving on to step number two. Go I ahead, want my a man. villa like that. Then we need to go up, a villa on the sea. Don't you want to go up to get an overview? Let's go. There's a path over there. What's the criteria for a good spot, hmm? Something in the shade and something open. I'm not too sure. It's in direct sunlight. There is no shadow. Down below is fine. Well, you're the shelter expert. I'm covered in dirt and I like these pants. It's really my favorite pants to wear. Why did you bring it here then? I wore this on the plane and we packed away our luggage. We went back down over there. I think Dillo has found a place that he Stay likes. here, brother. That's exactly what you told me an hour ago. Don't start, we're only two. Is there one less? Where are you going, bro? Yes, he's already given up. Okay, guys, the goal is to find a good place to camp. Since we're gonna stay here for 50 hours, our enemy will be insects, ants, snakes, all that. I'm already hungry. I'm thirsty. Buddy! What is he doing there? Why is he naked? Itchy. Yeah, it's starting. After exploring half of the island, we're back to our starting point, and the sun will be setting soon, so we must put up camp somewhere. There is a good tree there, with vines. We'll be able to make a shelter with this. There's plenty of wood there, and there's a nice open space. While Dilu is busy cleaning up what will serve as our campsite, I'll be taking inventory for all of you. To survive the 50 hours here, all of that in there is video equipment and all of that in there is spear fishing gear. So basically in pure survival gear, here is what we have. Two liters of water each, because it's not raining in Indonesia at the moment and we're not keen on dying of dehydration. Can you explain? We'll see that later. We have some clothes, a first aid kit and a few really basic survival tools. Hey, buddy, I have a gift for you to help you in your quest. Wow. Oh, buddy. Sumbawa style. You brought me a katana. Amazing. Wee! Cuts everything. 
Yeah. Now look, with us we really have the bare minimum, and then we know this entire bag is just filled with video equipment. The Prestige 16 Studio is the sponsor of this video, thanks for making this possible! This is the spear fishing gear, now that's a big luxury. So we could have played this in 100% survival mode where we only had one knife to survive, but you see neither Dilu nor myself have done a single survival course, so we really don't have any experience What's in this. The point? Uh, but I'll take it, <laughs> I watched Man vs. Wild. I know, that's the problem. <laughs> so if you liked watching that, then you'd want to see us struggle again, for example, seven days? No, brother, more. He'd like to do more than Inox, so that means ten days? <laughs> He's brother Inox. If you see the video, get a hundred thousand likes in a hundred days, we'll stay on a desert island with nothing for ten days. I kinda hope you don't see this because <laughs> I don't think I'm fit. I think I'm going to get into the water quickly because as you can see, the sun is setting right now. It's not that far from 5 p.m. And it's not at all a good time to go fishing, but let's go ahead and we'll just try to grab at least something for us to eat for dinner tonight. Hopefully when I get back, there will be a five-star hotel waiting here. I think we're definitely the only humans in the world stranded on a deserted island with the latest MSI PC. <laughs> we're gonna follow all the steps it gives us for survival. Thanks, MSI. Step number two, have a place to sleep. Got it. Third step, make a shelter. Well, am I there or In progress. not? And the fourth step is for us to find food. All right, I'll go quickly. I have one hour of Can't sun. go home without fish. We'll have to make a fire. That's another challenge. You're almost there. What's gonna be hard is if I catch a fish, I'll have Throw. to- Not that. Ikimi. Oh yeah. Like ikigai as in Japanese. Yeah, it's- To kill it. Finish it off. It's to kill it. I have never killed a living being to eat it, and now we're in a survival situation, so it's different. What I mean is, if we don't yeah, do it, I actually die. know how to do it, but I've never done it before. This is what will be the most challenging thing okay, for me. Okay, guys, I'm almost done clearing everything up. Well, I don't even know if I just cleared it up. I finished all the parts, so just a little bit. Tristan went fishing, or at least tried. Uh, I hope he'll bring back something to eat because we're starving. I'm starting to get tired. I'm thirsty. My energy level is starting to get low. Hello, buddy! Hello, buddy! Bring back some fish! So I'm gonna start going around the island in order to set up camp. There's a crab! There was a huge crab here! Sweet heaping polish. My mother, who will see this video, will say that he never cleans. And there I see him on an island, sweeping the ground. It makes no sense. While Dilu tries to set up camp, I try to grab some surimi for this evening. But one, there are many waves and currents, so it's moving a lot, and I don't really see much. And two, I haven't done the underwater fishing PMP course yet, so I don't really know how to use this thing, and I think it shows a bit. I have opened myself up here. I cleaned up the camp. Now the second step is to gather some wood and start the shelter. I don't know how I'm going to do it because I don't have any string, I don't have any ropes, there is nothing. Here are sea urchins, and they could be really good. I'm in front of the largest tree shelter. I'm gonna go into the water. Sea urchins and tuna are here. Go, Blues, go! Bring back some wood to the camp! I'm going to put it back with its friends. Like this. My brothers, I cut down a tree! But it was not me who cut it. It's already on the ground, but it is a tree. Let's go. Visibility is zero! Can't see anything! Either I make a shelter, we put it in the tree. That is, I put a branch in the hollow of the tree, and then I tilt it and make like a teepee. Either I take my three branches, I put them... I... Uh, fuck your mother. Look. I can't hold my breath, and if I don't catch anything, we don't eat, so I'm stressing. And that one was easy. And buddy, what is he doing there? It's armed. It took me 15 minutes. The sun is gone, but we'll try on the way back. Damn, not confident. Missed it. I'm a little worried about Tristan because I don't see him around much. There is a bit of a current. In moments like these, the water gets murky. He can't see very well. Guys, I picked up some fruit earlier. What is this? Wait, I think I know. Look, they look like almonds. Oh, oh that's better as heck. We need to find some string. What is this? We will continue. We'll try to get a little more. Hey, brothers, we're alone in the world. Alone in the world. There are no boats. The islands around there are empty islands. It's both exciting and scary at the same time. Sometimes you think, what if something happens to you, like injury? I don't know, a scorpion, a snake, anything. You say to yourself, we have no cell signal, no one around. We just asked the guy to pick us up on Tuesday at 6 p.m. And we started this adventure on Sunday at 4 p.m. Meanwhile, at Buddy's. Before the light completely fades, I will try to catch some sea urchins. It's better than nothing. He arrives and the hut isn't finished yet. What have you done? Look, I brought two tunas. Okay, I hope you can see. 
Logically, we have to tie the two together. It should hold tight. Now, I'll try to dig a hole and put them in. I did it! It holds! I'm so happy! <laughs> this is my hut! <laughs> I think we'll have to make fire now, because I hear weird noises. And now, as Dulu called it, the fifth commandment. It's... I don't know how I'll manage it. I'll put my base of wood here. something dry, like a sock. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you scared me, bastard! Were you really scared? Do you feel like we're not gonna eat tonight or not really? I'm prepared not to eat. <laughs> In the water, I'm swimming there with the spear when a massive crab passed me by. I couldn't see through the water that well. I struggled. How's the fire going? I was gonna put cotton in it. I see shelter. Do you like it or not? We'll be fine. Fire! Wow! Now put it all in the fire. This is my first fire, guys. This is crazy. Well done. The fire will last 46 seconds. To lose fire. R.I.P. Hi there! Hello! So I am the fisherman who does not catch any fish, and right over here we have the builder who actually builds things. It's in progress. It's not bad at all. I'm proud of it. Now, what's really cool is that in the MSI there are survival videos, so I will open it right now and watch how to make a fire because it's a disaster over here. It feels like it could be 3 a.m. right now. <laughs> yes. But actually, look, it's actually only 7 p.m. As you can see, there is no signal. We're in the middle of nowhere. The good thing is that the Prestige 16 Studio has a screen that is a mini LED. We can see really well because the brightness on this is amazing. It's so flat, you can use it for sushi. When we do catch some fish, we can make sashimi on it. More importantly, our survival videos. Okay, MSI clearly trolled me by uploading a video on here where we failed to make a fire with Panda Man. Oh wait, there are more here. How to survive on a desert island? Easiest way to make fire? Let's go. But not every fire is built the same. You know what, I actually have a burst of energy right now, so I will try to make a fire in a more complicated way, but then at least the fire will last much longer. You put the biggest pieces of wood below, and then you add above progressively. Big, medium, small, very small. And what they call tinder, it's basically the fuel. It'll heat up from top to bottom a little more like chimneys when you wanted to burn all night long. So... <laughs> You went and caught a crab! <laughs> I was hungry, Mom. Well done! <laughs> I was so hungry, guys. Look, I caught a crab. If you put it down, it will crawl away. We have to It'll kill move, it. move, bro. <laughs> Over here, we have the tinder to fuel the fire. There, we have the small pieces, medium, and big wood as well. We've been on this island for five hours. Keep in mind that we have absolutely no survival experience. If any professionals see us, I think they will insult us. <laughs> when we make a fire, we think about it in the morning while planning our day. As usual on this channel, we learn and experiment in all areas. Here, we're trying to do survival with no experience and only a few YouTube tutorials. We'll see how it goes. The lady from the video said, if we make fire here in the tinder, apparently the fire will go down. But for me, a fire goes up, so we should light it from the bottom. But let's do as she said, and if it doesn't work, it's on MSI. How much energy do you have, Dilu? I'm looking at my watch, and honestly, my energy is 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Expecto Patrona. Not really. Expedimus. Do you know more Harry Potter spells? I haven't had any Harry Potter references. I have one. Wingardium Liviosa. It's in moments like these I wish I remembered the Incendio spell. Incendio. Because for the next 37 minutes, you'll bear witness to something like this. Let me do it. Wait, wait, you can wear it out. Stop it. But you're not listening. Wait a minute. There you go. The cotton's burning, but not this. Okay, <laughs> it's starting to go well. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. My fuel is the only thing that lights up. No, I don't know. I am just waiting here. I don't know what to do. Oh no, there's no flame! I could start a fire, but it didn't last. No fire, a critical situation. And our morale is declining. We're cold and hungry. And Dilu doesn't know how I've caught sea urchins. We could actually eat them if this fire starts. But since we can't start a fire, plus the shelter hasn't had much progress either. The plan is so scary. I could look for some crabs now, but I'm starving. After trying really hard to do the pyramid method for 45 minutes, I am opting for a simpler solution. The method is called TP. Basically, it's an easy technique that replicates the construction of an Indian-style tent. If you just manage to light your tinder, then in theory you're supposed to have a fire. Bear in mind, I said in theory. I have been grating wood for 20 minutes. 
I think this isn't too bad. So I put a tiny piece of cotton in the middle of my tinder made of wood shavings. I hope to light it and end up with a big flame that will go over all of the wood pieces like a domino effect. It doesn't seem like it, but it is very smartly done. While trying to keep my fire going as best as I can after 25 minutes of pure silence, I hear a distant voice. Is the fire coming or not? I don't really know. Is the fire coming or not? It is. Fire is coming. Oh, yeah. Huge. I am hungry. Come on, do it yourself. I built a shelter, Is bro. this the whole shelter? At least I've done something. Me too. It's there, but it's just like your shelter, bro. At least we have a place to sleep. Here comes the moment of truth. If it doesn't start, I can't do anything, your bro. fire is so small. Do you think he can make it? The answer? After the ad. I have a surprise if we manage to start the fire. Smoke is a good sign. It's coming. I was so close. But we're really close. Fire. Bro, if this lights up, everything will light up as well. I just can't make the smoke last. I'll have to use a free pass. The survival kit had one. Some Pelo Santo. It is a wood that catches fire easily. No way. I used a free pass to make this happen. How does it look? I think it looks great. Carry on, buddy. The problem is that I used the only free pass we had, but I don't think it will work. Now bring oh, the crabs. Just like that. Yeah, put it over the fire. Oh, shit. It is on those sweet words that we move on to step six, which is trying to cook. So I've made a fire. I need to keep it burning, but I don't know how, though. No, 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 no. Just wait. Yes. Don't tell me to bring the crabs, then. Well, For me, bring the crabs means fuck it, put them on. Not what I said. Yeah, put it over the fire. Oh, shit. Not what I said. I think we're good. I don't know who will taste it. But I put this on to avoid dying. The crab is extremely hot now. We've got plenty of embers, but don't know how to restart the flame. It's my crab. Sorry. It's ours. We will eat such a great surimi. <laughs> we'll have such a nice dinner. There is fire. The fire starts again. I made fire. Good job. The flames are starting to burn quite brightly. Nicely caramelized. So while he's trying to stew our crab with our mini fire, I take the opportunity to bring out my little surprise. Surprise! Urchins, have you had it before? Yeah, the old-fashioned way. Me too, at my grandma's house back in the day. I don't know how we I eat I think that them. only the heart is edible. Yes, only the center. Indeed, Dilu, only the heart is edible. But there is one thing that I have not included in the equation at all throughout the day. A bad energy management style was seen from the French-Vietnamese player named Tristan, catching... Five urchins, losing two and returning to shore with three, except the urchins' hearts have fallen back into the water. In other words, all for nothing. I've been trying to make a fire for over three hours now. I spent all of my energy digging out all the bits of wood. Even if our morale is at its lowest, we will still try to get something to eat. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the half-cooked crab stewed with coconut, cooked over a bamboo fire, approximately. Dinner is served. It's still really hot. Do you often eat crabs? No. And you? No. It's a baby. Look, compare it to my hand size. It's disgusting. Now, that is the easy solution. Eating the claws. How does a crab claw taste? Oh, wow. Delicious. You're a liar. <laughs> I promise you, it's delicious. I wasn't prepared for that at all. It seems good. It's salty. It's quite delicious. It tastes like surimi. That's it. Surimi. You must eat the fine flesh. It's really good. Wait, Agreed. it's very hot. The whole afternoon, my stomach was paining, so eating this tiny thing is yes, great. Yes, exactly. It feels so good. It's full of protein. It's midnight. It's been eight hours. Tell me, how do you think we're doing? We're doing badly. <laughs> very. Yes, very badly. It's harder than I thought. No fire, hardly food, so thanks for catching this. Congrats for cooking that. You know, my hands are full of dirt, but I don't give a shit. Same here. Really? No fuss. <laughs> it kind of makes me want to learn about what we can eat and what we can't eat. I mean, for all we know, we could eat everything. But I don't know. All of this actually makes me think about the life that we have as city dwellers back at home now. For instance, do you know what you're eating when we consume KFC foods almost every other day without even realizing it's first a small animal? Just just like this. It lives its life, and nature is all about prey and predator. Basically, we have to kill it and eat it. We tend to forget, due to the convenience of a store, we can easily buy a sliced chicken. Yeah. But we forget that it's a chicken, you know? It is a small animal that we thought acceptable to kill and then put on our plate to eat. So eating a crab just like this in survival mode sets the entire record straight. Okay, come on, show us your shelter. If you come in, you have to remove your shoes. Look, you can put your shoes here. And a king-size bed there. Yes. I swear I feel so I good. I want to believe you, but when I see the decorations, I don't actually feel okay, that good. lay down. Well, this is our makeshift shelter for tonight. Total crap. We're going to that's it. <laughs> Perfect. There is no more battery left. Yeah, now we clearly couldn't progress as fast as what we wanted to with the shelter or food or even fire. To be honest, we're not doing too, too badly right now, even though it's not what we expected at all. Now we will try. 
close our eyes to sleep despite hunger, which is growing. I think we'll drink a lot. See you all tomorrow. It was the worst night of my life. Not one cushion, no mattress at all. How are all of you? <laughs> I have no idea what time it is. Despite the sun already being out, I'm too tired to open my eyes now. Normally, I'm the one up quite early and would be in the water. Oh fuck, my mouth's dry. You have to choose between eating or sleeping. It is sleep that matters the most. I was taking clumps of sand like this, and that's what I did. That was my pillow for the evening. When you sleep, you aren't hungry. So you might as well sleep more. I think it's good. We'll do that. I'll sleep a bit more. Day number two. It's eight in the morning. This divine beauty, how was your night? What night? Detestable. <laughs> I do not know if we can call it a night, brother. I was really surprised that you weren't missing much in order to sleep well. Just one thing was missing yeah, from the back well, there. for comfort, I made a sand cushion. A little <clears> thing <throat> there, you know, even if it was grass or even anything. But one thing I'll admit, while I was laying over there, I swore you out. Yeah. Did you like it or not? not. Uh. Damn, you're so clean. But yesterday I was lying here like a, a slutty brother That's to true. make the fire. If there is only one thing you can focus on today, it's making those little chips to hold up a tent. Wait, you ask too Don't much. Relax. You're wait, in wait. too many requests. But I'm going to leave the camp. Do not know. To swim. Because it's the morning. This pair of joggers are supposed to be durable, but they got ripped. We haven't had breakfast, but that's okay, because I have this habit of fasting in the morning. I think I'm maybe going to have about two hours of energy. It would be cool if I caught a fish, though. Do you poop? No. Nope. He eats a lot, this idiot. I think he's gonna have to do something. Well, I'm making a fire in secret, and I eat in secret. I do not have to do that. We wasted more time. Personally, the shelter, I have nothing to beat because, in any case, his shelter, uh, be, it'll be pierced. It will not be waterproof. It's not yet monsoon season here in Indonesia, so it's not supposed to rain. You know what? Even if it was raining here, I would still prefer to sleep with nothing over my head because last night, each time I opened up my eyes, I was looking up at the gorgeous stars. I am <clears throat> mentally okay. I do feel good because, thankfully, Dilu went for a walk on the beach yesterday and caught this tiny crab, which seemed <laughs> to invigorate us. After reading, it was easier to fall asleep than if we hadn't. At one point, I was telling myself how cool all of this is. Then, on the other side, I'm thinking, what the hell? But we don't have a cameraman filming these moments. It took me 20 minutes just to get my spear gear together, to clean it up a bit, change the camera cards and batteries, and grab the other accessories. So there is also this pressure for the video, because you see, the goal is to make a beautiful video out of all this. My hunger is now passed. That was quick. I thought I'd be a lot hungrier by now, that I'm scared I will have one short bar of energy left by afternoon. My energy is a 5 out of 10. Just a bit annoyed that I wasted so much energy on making a fire, but then I couldn't maintain it. Now we're going to do some PMP spearfishing. In fact, if you're keen to see a video dedicated to spearfishing, let me know in the comments below. Now look, I am not very proud of my survival skills. But as I said, I have no experience, so we're going to wing it. You don't want your feet to get bitten by a water snake, at least not on purpose. As you can see, I'm a size 44, and we have a 40 and a 42. As you can see, it destroyed my feet like this. So here's the boy hanging to the gun, the super bag of Dilu's unicorn, which is gonna help me carry all of this. To this, we're gonna hang a super saw. That way, if there is a fish, I can Ike Jimmy and take its life humanely and responsibly. And hopefully I can come back by two or even three o'clock with a bag full of fish. There are small fish down there. If I concentrate and take large breaths, I can stay longer at the bottom. Hey, I think I just caught one. Today, we're gonna make a fire. How to survive. The number one rule on how to make fire. Because if you do not have fire, you die. 
And motherfucker, you do not want to die. We're gonna try to make chips of wood, and then make a fire. Then we light the fire together. And there, we cook our fish. And after that, we'll be able to do labri and everything. It is now 10 a.m. My energy is okay. I am thirsty, I am hungry, I am tired. But it does not matter. We'll try to see the good side of- It's been two days since I ate. I can't take it anymore. I think that we should move. It's too hot here. What the fuck? The jellyfish! Look, it's the fruit from yesterday, you remember? I'm hungry. We'll try to cover the shelter a little because the sun comes from there. Are you ready or not, so I can show you my shelter? I've been busy for an hour and a half. I'm proud to present the new shelter. We're good! <laughs> if I want shade, I go like this. If I want light, oh, the light! But what about Tristan? What is he doing? Here's Tristan, face to face with the mural, but he is so hungry he wonders if he is gonna shoot, except he's scared to lose his fingers in case he misses. So he'll pass on this. No, on a serious note, I am not happy about it for a lot of reasons. Number one, I have not done PMP spearfishing yet, so I am not very precise, and two, I have no idea how to hunt fish. Therefore, as I get closer to them all, they swim away. Yet, without trying, I usually find myself in a school of jellyfish. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, please witness how I do not shoot the one big fish that I could have easily caught but didn't, because it had black spots, and so I thought it was poisonous, when in fact it was one of the best tasting fish in the whole region. I do not know what to do. There is nothing to do. <laughs> I have no time reference. I know myself, I get up at 9 a.m. The sun is there, I think it's 12.30 p.m. It is 12.23 p.m. I'm an adventurer or what? <laughs> I tried to take a nap. Impossible, the sun was too much. I had no shade. I was sweating. I was starting to have, my head was turning and everything. I went up, I took a large and said to myself, you've got to do it. Finished the shelter, and now I finished it. It is 3 p.m., it is 23 hours that we are on the island. It's been over three hours of me spearfishing, and fuck, it's more complex than I expected. And between you and me, in addition to my stomach starting to pull, I cannot see myself going home empty-handed, because I know that Dilu is counting on me to catch something for us. Okay, shit. Underwater, this fish looked bigger. I'm starting to focus on the small coral fish, because I realized it's the only way to put something in our mouths. Is he going to bring back to eat or not? So... I am K.O. <laughs> you left. It's been three hours. Was so two. Tell me what you brought back. I caught two fish. Go ahead, show me the finds. So, I'm mad at the actions I took. I saw a fish that was way too weird. I put the spear in front of him, then he turned around and looked at me. Maybe I gave off a vibe that said I don't spear, and the fish knew. Why do you not have I it spear? I think he was vengeful, you know? He had these black spots and I think I saw him staring back at me. He looked a bit like a moray eel. Ugh, I should have caught the fish. <laughs> Did you make it fire? It was not said that I was making a fire. It was said that I was doing with chips. Yeah. So the chips are there. Yeah. You, on the other hand, we have said that you were bringing back two barracudas. I do not like barracudas. Of course, he did not bring anything back. He brought a Mimo. On the other hand, when he goes to see my shelter, he says, Oh, wow. you will see. Do not spoil yourself. Step. Wow. Do not spoil. Wait. It seems he has cut down all the trees on the island. <laughs> wow. Not bad at all. We're going to sleep so well there inside. There it is, cocooning. Here we are, one each. I'll take this in case you're too upset. Why did you not kill them? I've tried, but I can't do it. It hurts too much. I'm counting on you. I remember seeing the fish swim and thought it was protecting his sister or girlfriend. I do not know. It is better than nothing, though. This is entry level. But suddenly, I'm thinking we could eat the sea urchin's mother. In reality, bring some back, and while the fire lights up, while it cooks, we eat them. Fuck, you could have made this thing king size. Be careful, <laughs> don't touch Move too up. much. Look how beautiful we are. We are truly, and that's why we're the greatest of friends. But I did big at the base. But you're sick. You're gonna be fine, Dilu. However, no, you sleep I've with me. I've never in this lifetime. <laughs>
<laughs> Slowly. <laughs> In the middle of the night, this will fall on us. No, but yeah, you have to stay. You are with us within the only shaded spot in the entire camp. I think we're going to start a fire to cook the fish and sea urchins. It is time to do the part of all this that I hate the most. Now listen quickly. As for hunting, I don't mind it, but taking a life <sighs> always affects me. I think if everyone had to kill all the meat and fish that they consume, half the world would be vegan. Thank you for providing us with food. We're in survival mode. Your meat will be honored and respected. Amen. It is over. They said when a fish is dead, its mouth is smiling. Next. Little clown fish, thank you so much for serving us. Your meat, Your meat will, will be, be honored, honored and respected. I'll do... I'm used to it. You're weird. I feel sorry, but I promise we'll eat you well. All right, barbecue. I don't know what time it is, but the sunset is starting. It must be between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. I need to go gather some wood while I still have sunlight. Energy level, it's a 4 out of 10. We decided to save the fish for tonight, and now I'm going to gather plenty of sea urchins. We need to gather some strength. I'm starting to lose my mind a bit. Now let's go. The tide has risen, so now there are only two sea urchins and not as many as earlier. But hey, at least it is better than nothing. Better than nothing, except with the rising tide and the accelerating current is not as simple as I thought it would be. Damn, this is frustrating. Okay, one. Okay, two. Fishing for sea urchins. You could say it was successful. I got a little splinter in my finger. Other than the terrible current that constantly drove me crazy out there, I'm fine. It was a struggle, but we made it. Time to head back. Hi, little bear. Am I bothering you? <laughs> I was taking a nap, and you? <laughs> yes, I see that. It seems heavy. I prepared the fire, bro. Look at me, I've lost weight. I'm so shocked. Stop it. I am so skinny. No weight loss. We have an injured person. I need to pee on your finger. Oh, no, I think you just removed the splinter. It's not like when your brother peed on you when you got stung by a jellyfish. <laughs> Do you always have to spill everything? Dilu's brother peed on him one day because he got stung by a jellyfish. He told me, don't worry, that's how you're supposed you to hesitate. do it. He didn't hesitate, not a second. Who said it wasn't good? Was it Jamie? Definitely not. That's an urban legend. I mean, even I thought, why don't you just pee on yourself? You messed it up. You made it worse. I'm gonna die. Going to be good! Eat! I wanna eat, buddy. What are you waiting for? Good things come to those who wait. Are you ready? Stop. Are you ready? Enjoy your meal, buddy. Here are Buddy's findings. They're beautiful. I selected them with love. Here you go, my friend. You're gonna look handsome. I admit, I did it go with a Go ahead, fade. then. I saw this a sea urchin video on the MSI, so I just rechecked and confirmed that sea urchins are in fact edible for humans. Well, at least this part of sea urchins that we call gonads, which for your general knowledge are simply their sex glands. However, as you can see right now with ours, there aren't any at all whatsoever. <sighs> yeah, they look a lot like them, but they are not the sea urchins that we can eat. They are non-edible black sea urchins. Hmm. What do we do? Damn, what a disappointment. Well, we didn't kill it not to eat it. I think I mostly caught black sea urchins. They're the inedible ones. So I just wasted an hour and a half of my time and energy today catching about 10 sea urchins that we can eat because they're black sea urchins and not purple. So we should just put them back in the sea. We release them and forget about the idea of catching something. There's something we really underestimate in this kind of challenge, and that's the lack of energy. We don't realize how much it affects you when you sleep on the ground and don't eat and barely drink. It really does influence your mood. Right now, with our brains running at a snail's pace, I do not think that the lack of food and water Plus, being lost on an island doesn't help. Honestly, we're like a bunch of zombies now. We're struggling to move or even think straight, let alone find our words. So we're taking it easy. We're putting the camera down and shutting down till sunset. Once night falls, we can try to catch a few crabs. I think what is also making me feel a bit weird now is that I failed at everything in this video. I failed at making fire and I even failed at fishing. 
nor any fruit. I guess I'm just too much of a perfectionist in general. The same goes for the shelter. I expected to create something like that in the end. We didn't even have the time. It's crazy how time flies. We have been here for about 28 hours. While recording, Dilu is peeing in the water over there. My pee is neon yellow! Is it yellow? Yes! Mine as well! But sometimes you also have to accept that you don't have control over everything. Even more so when you're sleeping on the ground and not really eating anything. It's part of the game. Watch the tutorials on MSI and try to light the greatest fire. We go crab hunting while the other fish is cooking. This would be the absolute best case scenario for us. We have the MSI Prestige 16 Studio with tutorials for making fire. A camera here, a camera there, a lot of wood, and fire is coming up now. Two guys determined to eat yeah, those determined. two fish. In reality, we can try all methods. Cotton. We can even tear off our clothes if we don't like it anymore. Okay, yes. It's not like I have a fancy clothing brand. Plus, there's a new collection available now. Thanks, buddy. You know practice makes perfect. Should we give them a promo code if we manage to yeah, make fire? Yeah, minus 50% for the first 10. Minus 50% with the code. Fire for the first 20. You always screw me over. Might as well take this opportunity to announce that the PMP store is back with new items added every month. If the values of PMP resonate with you, please join the community by wearing our emblem of this beautiful message. Head over to practicemakesperfect.fr. We didn't realize just how tough this would be, because in all the videos you will see we don't have the same environments as them, and we don't have the same gear. We don't even have the same XP, so many things that differ. Whew. The wood. The rest catching a light wouldn't be bad. Don't mess up the fire, Okay, bro, bro it's really catching. Normally, you light it and don't touch it again. As usual, if you try hard, you will start to get the hang of it. This makes perfect. I think, all right, we're good. We need big wood around it right now. You need a TP size of the flame. No! Mm. Don't break the tip. I burned myself yeah, my in bad. damn TP. Dude, we just did it! Bravo, it's man. It's truly incredible. Ugh. I get the kebab. Thank God, bro. I'm quickly heading to the beach to find crabs. You get the crabs and I'll take care of the fire. But is it cooked? We still need to take care of it. I mean, it's not done. I'll grab my shoes and head Hey, out. you all! We did it! Thank you, MSI. Thank you for our resilience. We have real flames and we didn't cheat. Dude, do you realize that? Yes, I realize. Yeah. Bro, I'm starving. Well, we have a real fire. Fire, bro. Go get all the crabs you can find. There is nothing. Remember last time, I saw the crab moving well. The crab earlier, I saw it moving well. There's not much here. There's nothing. As you can see, we have the fish skewered. We have the fire going well. It's not going to stop anytime soon. It's incredible. Okay, I'll take care of this. Stay put, because it is not done. What? Yeah, I'm coming. Tell me you aren't empty handed. Dude, tell me you kept the fire. Come and see no! for yourself. No, bro. Ah! Ah! Buddy, buddy. We're not My dude, lumberjacks. you see this? We're not lumberjacks. Dude, I got it! The fire's up! So, I'll leave you here. Here. What do you have? <laughs> Disgusting! Why? I got a crab Okay. And... We can see. Uh... Give it a try. Did you cook the fish? Yeah, it's right incredible. here. It is incredible. Of course, it looks good. It looks good. Thank you. How is it? It's good. Strangely, I thought that since I was so hungry all day, eating a bit of food would increase my appetite, but it had the exact opposite effect, actually. In essence, right now it feels like my stomach has become so small that just by sharing this tiny piece of fish, it gives me enough energy and hypes me up to go hunting for more food than to actually just sit here and eat it. So you, and me, and my machete. <laughs> You're just a little fish. Oh damn, it's right under my machete. Should I take this one? got you. You silly one. You're little and so foolish. You were so easy to catch. You probably haven't eaten much at all, so I'll let you go. Move forward. I'll see you. <laughs> now you are one weird fish. <laughs> Where is your mother? Crab? Not crab. Where are the crabs? <laughs> got you. You bastard! He's so agile! Now check the size of those claws. Tiny. Yeah, I think it's a baby. We ate its parents. Now go away. Shall we take it and see? The bucket? That one looks good. Want a piece? 
Yeah, it looks intense. Yeah, one moment. Here you go. Let's share. I'll be less picky now when we're at a restaurant or when my mom cooks. It's cooked perfectly. You know, this is starting to annoy me. <clears throat> He'll cry tomorrow. Even the skin is tasty. Hmm. I'm placing a symbolic piece. I've rarely been as proud of anything as I am of this fire now. Worthy of a campfire atmosphere. Stop with your surprises. What's behind your back? Have you seen it? Yeah, I saw it when you crouched Bro, I down. I caught a fish with my hand. I was just like, burf, burf. You watched too many videos of the guy on the I internet. Swear. That's crazy. So I don't know what this it is. Looks like a tiger fish. And we have two crabs. Let's go. Look at the fire, man. It was just waiting Buddy, for you. You know what? I'm going back. I'm in a hunting mood. The fire got me so hyped up. I ran completely out of energy and I made a fire. Go ahead and I'll let you prepare this and I'm going back. I'm really the I'm cook. so proud of us, man. Well done, bro. Look, we have a nice fire over here, a beautiful Berber, and we also got fresh food. I'll hold it in marshmallow It is a given mode. that today is a total success compared to yesterday because we've managed to make and maintain a decent fire and we have got something to cook after successfully catching food. We're getting awfully hot to go back, so... I've got a big one. Let's taste it. It's a small fish. I think it's sardine. A sardine? We have to eat it. It's so small. Last catch of the day. We have no more batteries anywhere. No camera and no cell phone and no microphone. And in the back of our minds, we've got a few little burned crabs. Now I am not proud of myself, but I really had no choice. I was so hungry. Normally, I'd leave this size. It's incredible. For half an hour, I played chick chick chick. It's like a small brochet. Just don't think too much. Mmm. Mmm. This tastes like sardines. Good night, my buddy. Good night, my buddy. Just one more. Ugh, it was the worst night of my life. Again. It is not okay to sleep on the ground. My neck feels like it's on fire. Last day, it's 8 a.m. I'm so thirsty and almost out of water. Hi, buddy. Are you okay? How are you? I have stings everywhere. Really? In the Me too. Oh, wow. wow. Really is we should fight. go in the water with a spear now. There are huge white fish jumping around. That means predators are attacking them. The final stretch of these 50 hours. How are you mentally? <laughs> I'm mentally okay because I'm saying to myself, yeah. only a few hours left before it ends. I think that the body knows it's almost at the end of it. I think if the body didn't know the end was near, yeah. things would be less funny. If we don't have the time, we don't know what time it is. I run out of energy. Yeah, same here. I can't stand up. Logically. The body tells you to be efficient and to use less energy. Your body goes into rest mode for many tasks. Well, over time, I've realized that, especially with mine, the average human's brain normally consumes about, oh, hold on, let me think. In the lies of fitness, 125 grams of sugar a day, just the brain. That is 500 calories from sugar, just to keep your brain functioning. Now, given that while we were here, we had almost zero calories from sugar. The only sweet thing that we ate was... It's crab. No, Crabs no, are sweet. Not. Just pure protein. <laughs> really? We just ate fish and crabs here, so we should have 20 grams of proteins. The brain needs a certain amount of sugar. If we didn't give it any for two to three days, then the body needs to save onto that. Your heart rate goes down and you want to do less stuff. You talk softer and your brain can't think at a normal speed. There's a lot of stuff we wanted to shoot to do while here, but we don't have the energy. It has even changed my perspective on many things in life. Like being thankful for the clothes on my back, even though they're extremely dirty. <laughs> The next time I can't sleep in my own bed, I'll say, Oh, I can't sleep. I'll never oh, yeah, say no. that again in real life. Stop it. <laughs> we can sleep on the ground. The pillow is fine. We can make one. But the blanket... <sighs> my neck hurts right now. It's okay. We made it. The blanket, <sighs> even in the summer, I have to sleep with Same a blanket. Here. We were like princes. There's no air conditioning. Even the food. Here, I just caught a fish in the water. We put it on a skewer, and two minutes later, we're munching. We grabbed those maxi crabs and... Clam, clam, crunch, crunch. A few years ago, I would have been a very serious man here. I'd never catch a crab and put it on the fire and say, no, bro. go ahead. Yesterday, I saw the little snake go by and thought, he's cute, I'll leave him. Then two hours later, I was starving and I said, if I see it, I'll destroy it. When you have to use survival instinct, everything changes. I haven't pooped in three days. It's been three days since I took a shit. So much discomfort. I wish I had a few layers of protection. It's called a bed. I want 10. Now I feel like eating a burger. Oh no, don't remind me. A fresh coke. Bro, just talking about it. Look what's in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, go there. It'll be perfect. A big ice cream with chocolate all over. 
I get closer Sounds with good. whipped cream. Sounds good. Well, now I'm putting whipped cream all over your mouth. I, I don't know if it's an image or if you're using symbolism or if you're symbolizing you everything the that you're. I, I'm going spirit fishing. I only have five percent of energy left. It's not enough for you. I'll be in the water. It may sound strange, but between the first evening and yesterday's two sessions, I've spent a total of six hours in the water since the beginning. It has a very meditative effect on me. Actually, when I'm in the water, I'm super relaxed, so I don't feel hungry or thirsty. And even if I didn't catch much over the last two days, I did learn a lot about fish behavior and the marine ecosystem as a whole. And working on my apnea sometimes, staying more than one minute and 30 seconds, has now made me want to delve much deeper into this discipline. It's 10 a.m., and we're both off to the water, hoping to find something to eat now. I just got back from spearfishing. We didn't get anything. We left a whole hour ago already. There are fishes, little fishes like that, but they're too fast, too lively. Tristan stayed in the water. It takes too much energy. The sun's burning. In the water, my head hurt like hell at once. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. Two hours spearfishing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> 1.30 p.m. I'm exhausted. We still have... Five hours to survive here. Dilu is totally dead stranded here. I am at two, two energy, energy bars. bars. Let's try and get a little higher so we can see. Yeah, I saw there was fish, but let's face it, we're absolutely out of energy right now. <clears throat> it's 3 p.m. We haven't moved. Like we've been hit in the face with some kind of bar. Now, we're literally surviving. With our energy bar at zero and no more water or food, we decide to do what we do best when we have no energy. Sleep, sleep, sleep. It's so long since I've eaten that I have just discovered something in my belly that I have never seen before. See, I've always wondered how people move their bodies while belly dancing. I think I might have gotten that now. I could never grab my belly like that. Seeing the waist go in makes you feel like you're drunk. It's like smoking too much pot and drinking too much alcohol at the same time. Like the head is... I think these are the first signs of dehydration and I can't think till it ends. Hello, Mr. Tristan. So, this 50-hour adventure, how did it go for you? It went shit, you know, when we watch Kalana, we're like fat pigs sitting on our sofas with a box of pizza. And we just don't realize what the lack of energy creates. Sleeping on the ground, not eating, having a dry mouth, because you're having a tenth of what you would normally drink. Plus, I had to deal with cameras and making a video trying to get great shots for product placement and all that. Survival is already a big thing. But if you're trying to make a good video about surviving on top of that, oh, there were times when I wanted to tell you things, but then I didn't even have the energy to get up and take the camera and start talking as I pushed record. So in my hand, while in a ball, I'm saying to myself, damn it, this is hard. I realize how lucky we are just to have two arms and two legs. Even if we do have sores everywhere, we actually complain way too much. Alhamdulillah. While we are in the midst of debriefing our 50 hours of survival, we see a boat dock on the beach far ahead of us. Hello! That's the end. It's the end. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Come, I'm come, thrilled. come. That's our rescue. That's it. Dude, we were doing our debriefing, and then out of nowhere, we just saw them, and there are people hey, on our let's beach. Let's go and welcome them. Oh my God! Hello. We did it. Uh, hey, hey, hey. You're still alive? Oh my oh God! My God. We're so hungry. We're so hungry, so bro. bro. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. We didn't eat for two days, three days now. We ate crab. A crab we found. How long have we been on the island for real? 50 hours. Dilu and I actually did it. Now this is a bottle of palm sugar, cane sugar. We needed this. Thank you so much, Mike. You're the best. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. The feeling of sugar in my body. Oh, bro. I'm not going to wait, bro. Same. See, we chopped the crabs with this. I have no strength left. It's crazy. You're like God right now for me. Hey, Mike, Mike. Look, if you didn't come to rescue us... <laughs> don't do that. Bro, come on. I'm going crazy. It's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe. I'll send kisses. These 50 hours are coming to an end. All we can say is we clearly underestimated the difficulty of this adventure. With Dilu's total disillusionment in thinking that his shelter was perfect for anything, to me thinking I was a professional spearfisher when I couldn't even shoot a fish because I thought it was too cute. 
We were a great team of broken arms. And once again, we learned the experiment is a crazy field. Ladies and gentlemen, goodbye. Good job, buddy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the end of the video. Thank you, MSI Prestige 16 Studio, for allowing us to manage time. For those interested, just click on the link in my description. Personally, I think it's time to test the graphics card of this big baby. It's so beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and thank you, MSI.